Yes, yeah, so I'll be giving a talk on balancing um, technical debt and modernization in DevOps. So we've seen that sometimes when living legacy patterns or living legacy um, infrastructure are moving to uh, modernizing DevOps, sometimes there is a pushback. So right, what's technical debt, basically, right? when you're modernizing. It deals with like choosing quick and less ideal solutions, right? And just doing it the easy way, choosing the easy way to do things. And this might result in future backlogs. And now, the thing we need to know is everybody owes um, technical debt at some point. Even the almighty Kubernetes, right? One of the most exciting projects outside there. Um, you'll, see, you'll see that um, um, on, in 2019, right, um, team tweeted that Kubernetes was removing 450,000 lines of code from Kubernetes, right, which is one of the well-built open source products. And that shows that everybody has technical debt. So how do we need to modernize infrastructure while still balancing, you know, um, um, moving technical debt? So we need to reduce accumulated technical debts. We need to... Um, prevent developer frustration, and then we need to take all these things in mind, right? And how do we arrive at technical debt is sometimes we don't know what we're doing, right? We're learning on the job, as a previous speaker said, right? We shouldn't have done that. We should deal with this later, and then this is the road to technical debt. So this is like a quadrant that um, describes how technical debt comes about. Sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's just, you know, We'll just get there, we'll, someone else down the road, kicking the ball down the road, someone else will deal with it. And we need to know that we, we will pay for it at some point. So there are different ways to pay for this, incre incremental refactoring, big bang rewrite, hybrid approach, debt-driven div development, right? So there are different approaches we need to note. So basically, when you're dealing with incremental, re um, incremental refactoring, you have to come up with a structure to create, um, to create a plan, right, of how you're going to um, um, modernize the uh, code base, right, or modernize the infrastructure. And this is our preferred approach. It's very important, right, that to have this approach done like a big bang approach, right? So you minimize risks by incremental changes, just as the speaker earlier said, that you don't need to make like 500 lines of changes, right? You do it, you do it. And then next thing is managing team resource. So you need to be able to align um, human resource to modernizing while still delivering features, right? Because you want to pay for technical debt, fix security patches. You want to still be able to deliver on your organization goals, right? So it is very important to consider this while modernizing um, legacy infrastructure, right? So you need to or you need to take into account the potential impact and then plan necessary downtime, speak with management, manage stakeholders. So there is a technical aspect of it and there is a stakeholder aspect of it, right, in modernizing your infrastructure, right? And sometimes when you're doing this, you will have pushbacks because some of these applications, older applications, are probably legacy applications that are the cash cow of the company. So you need to find a balance of how to minimize downtime on these applications, right? So you conduct this, a thorough security assessment, right? You con conduct a vulnerability assessment, involve stakeholders early, right? Co highlight call savings, show why this modernization is important to the organization, right? And then show that it's, you are going to prioritize based on impact and urgency. It's important to note these key points in creating a modernization strategy, basically. So uh, the breakdown of how you will approach it, right? The technical bit is typically on an infrastructure level, you deal with the security team for vulnerability assessment, you deal with the DevOps team, right? For the innovation and the modernization, and then you deal with the SRE team to maintain uptime, right? So you assess, you prioritize tech, um, technical debts, you do, you implement, um, um, incremental modernization, right? Using um, a, 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 an incremental refactoring process, right? And then you integrate this into the DevOps flow. Why should we modernize infrastructure, right? It's better for security and compliance. When vulnerability assessment is run on your infrastructure, on legacy infrastructure, you're able to stand strong and have a resilient infrastructure. So you feature proof your infrastructure, and you are able to minimize the de um, developer's frustration. Thank you, everybody. Woo! Thank you, Emmanuel. Very good.